Welcome once again to Al Jazeera. How big a blow Thank do you me. think the arrest of uh, Mohammed Badia is for the Muslim Brotherhood? I think it merely adds to the pressure that's already been coming upon the Muslim Brotherhood over the past days and weeks. Um, the, the leadership at present um, is unable to function properly under these conditions. Um, having said that, it should be noted that not everybody has actually been arrested or detained. Um, and that's not because they're all in hiding. Uh, quite a few members of the top brass of the Muslim Brotherhood and the Freedom Justice Party are, are free um, and they're out and about. They're not in hiding. Um, so I think that the arrest of Badia is part of the, the state's strategy in dealing with the Brotherhood as opposed to arresting all of their leaders. Uh, where that strategy goes is quite another question. It's very difficult to negotiate with an organization if their leaders, um, even if it's not all of them, are actually locked up. What uh, role uh, does Muhammad Badia play uh, in the Muslim Brotherhood as a spiritual leader uh, or the general guide? Well, he is the general guide. Um, operationally, uh, I think he actually has less of a role than other people within the organization, um, particularly Khairat al-Shatir was identified ages ago as having had more clout operationally speaking within the organization. So operationally, um, his arrest doesn't actually seem to make much of a difference. Um, but there are other people who have been arrested and been taken. And I think that the including, reduction uh, in protests... Al he was included, arrested. Including yeah. Khairat, he was he was arrested quite some time ago and the uh, the Muslim Brotherhood was still able to mobilize quite large numbers of people over the past couple of weeks. So the, the fact that he was arrested didn't stop that ability. Um, but if you've seen over the last few days, their numbers have actually been reduced quite significantly on the street. Um, and it's clear that their operational ability has been hurt. Now, Mahmoud Ezat, uh, Badi as a deputy, has been appointed as uh, the temporary spiritual leader of the Muslim Brotherhood. What line do you think he's going to take? Uh, I think it's very unlikely to expect, uh, even if it was strategically smart to do, but uh, to expect the Muslim Brotherhood to take any other line than what they've taken so far. Uh, they're treating this as a zero-sum game, where if they show any weakness or any propensity to compromise or negotiate, even if they, uh, even if they had the ability to do so, it would be regarded as betrayal of their cause from the uh, from the ranks beneath them, and they they don't think that there's any point to that anyway. They do think that the state is out to get them anyway, regardless of what choices they make. So the choice they're making is to continue the way that they have so far.